Well, a lot of people are better at this than I am, but this uh, hopefully will get you started on doing an animation, a simple animation with a character from scratch. As you can see, we've got him picking up a uh, piece of wood, let's say, and uh, holding it. So uh, let's start with the basic avatar, uh, Christian. I'll just use Christian here and uh, placed our wood there. Uh, and so let's start. So let's select Christian. Let's come over to modify and uh, we'll be using uh, obviously the uh, edit motion layer but one thing I like to do uh, on a basic move of course is load my avatar make sure it's uh, zero it's zeroed out it's in the very center zero zero rotation that and that uh, so really in the center of the universe as we say and uh, another thing I like to do is just give it a little bit of motion to begin with and since this character is going to be standing and then stooping uh, I'm going to start with just a basic neutral pose and uh, let's just record that and uh, we can make it some adjustments to this later uh, but we'll just get a little bit of that basic pose there I uh, don't want that arm uh, motion there so we might delete that and uh, also his hands are a little close so let's let's do that again and let's uh, play with our uh, elbow out a little bit so there we go now we got our hands out a little bit and as I say I don't like that move but Let's start with something like that. Okay, like that. So start from the beginning and let's record our uh, animation. We'll record it on top of what we just did. And uh, as I say, I don't like this hand move here, so uh, I think we'll get rid of that. Not that we need this much animation, we can chop it up anyway. We need to. I'm going to hit spacebar and stop that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and either you can either just delete this segment. Uh, a lot of ways you can do that. We can break it. And there we go. We'll break that. And we can simply delete it. And let's move. Give a little ease in there. Okay, and then let's select both of those clips and let's do a merge to one nice piece of animation there. Okay, so that's the first thing we might, I, I tend to do, not that it's the right way or whatever. Uh, we're going to have him stand there for just a few seconds, let's say, and uh, then we're going to have him stoop down and pick up the wood. So I'm going to uh, delete this keyframe that was created when I did that cut. Don't need that. And I'm going to double click to create a uh, blank keyframe as it were. And get rid of our message. Uh, we could either we could have hit reset there and created that. So I want him to uh, stay there and not do anything. And now uh, let's say he uh, looks down and sees that and we can of course tweak these okay he looks down and then the next keyframe we're probably going to start him moving down so let's grab him by the waist here change that to an arrow Maybe rotate a little bit maybe pull the foot back a little bit like that. Okay. And we'll be able to change our timing once we get the basic moves down. And, and since he's possibly only going to be grabbing it with one hand, I don't necessarily need 
both hands uh, going toward the stick. And the beauty of creating this move from scratch is we'll position the stick wherever we want to make it work even better. Okay, of course his feet are getting a little crushed there, but there you go. That's going to happen. Just tweak around till you think you get get what you want. You can't move that midsection. All we can do is rotate that a little bit. Maybe the head doesn't tilt quite as much there. Okay, so that's basically. And once again, you can slide the keys, getting the timing just like you want. And okay, so now probably going to come right back up, and I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to grab, hold down the control key, and make a duplicate of that key there. And now, if I need him to stay here a little bit longer, I can duplicate this key here by holding down control and making a duplicate there and stay in that position and then come back up and duplicate that keyframe like so okay and that's your basic gross moves right there you can obviously tweak these any way you want uh, and get them just where you like it. Now, uh, obviously, when you want him to pick up the uh, wood, let's select that frame there, and then we can select our object and link it, not attach, but link to the hand, and then he'll pick it up. And obviously, you can make some more adjustments there so it fits the hand a little better, but. Uh, as it's coming up, you could potentially uh, tweak it a little bit. Wooden plank here. And let's look at that prop closer. Okay, we don't want to duplicate this opening here. Don't want it moving until he's got his hand on it. There we go like so. And you can then animate the hands a little better and tweak the fingers and all that. Okay, so that's the basic move there. Uh, once you've got it done, then basically you can either uh, flatten all of this together or simply just collect the clip and give it a name, save it in your motion file library and uh, call it pick up motion and uh, save it and we can replace it since I've done this once before and uh, there it is. Uh, real basic, real down and dirty. Uh, then you can also uh, potentially uh, change a few of the motions so once you've got it created. Uh, let's just go ahead and pretend we have uh, reloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, flatten all parts. And there we go. And now we have one motion. He looks down, picks it up. Okay, like so. And uh, let's say you wanted him to be looking around a little bit here. 
before he picks it up. So we can go to the direct puppet, select one of these. We can preview it. Look down. Is that what? Okay. I pick it down. Da, da, da. Looks like they got it. And then back up. So you could record that motion. He looks at it and then looks around. Nobody sees him. Okay, and there we go. So we've added some motion to that uh, once we recorded it. Uh, the beauty of this is it should work since you've recorded it at the uh, ground level zero zero zero, and uh, you should be able to merge this with a walking, walking up, walking away, insert this animation, uh, and do whatever movement you got. So hopefully that helps. As I say, it's not the, not perfect, not the best. You can spend more time. Others will have better ideas, but that's the way uh, I tend to do a quick down and dirty motion.